Hey everyone, hi everyone, and welcome back to the Dog and Posh's new improved place of home flame craft elves. If he hasn't met before, he hasn't had to survive without no content. It is the world famous, fully competent, Alan Partridge. <laughs> this is my brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. Hi bro, Hello, Hello everyone. Um, if you're not familiar with us, this is uh, where we brew and review home brew beer kits. Basically, I brew them, uh, I, I, we drink them, and we tell you what they're like. Yeah. From new and to old. Across the bar, we have a range of beers not we to try. Lovely, bro. Uh, are we going straight into testing beer? Yeah, well, we've got a range of beer, bro. We've got a couple of all grain beers across the bar today, and a new one from um, Guitar Brew. Oh, it's now. Now, that's the other one. No, that's not that one. That's not that one, is it? It's that one. It's that one. Sorry, folks, I'm, you know, kit. He moved everything about. <laughs> right then, here we go then. Go so, on. this is foundation beer kits are yes. perfect for beginners. Yes. With easy to follow steps in brewing fundamentals. Yes. You'll make the wort, add bittering extract, and flavouring hops and pitch yeast for fermentation. Yes. Yes. While practicing control, good sanitization, blah, 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 blah. So, these are obviously aimed at your, your new brewer. Well, yeah, uh, you, you basically came with malt extract. You get three uh, plastic bottles of malt extract. Yeah, we'll pick it then, here, yeah. Uh, you get some hops at, at the end of fermentation. Yeah. Which hops have you got there, bro? You've got a list here. You've got Citra, Galaxy, Mosaic, and then you've also got some new uh, England dry yeast. Uh, what, what weight of grammage of uh, hops have we got? 20 gram tea bag of each one. Oh, well, it should be fairly oppy then, shouldn't it? It should be, shouldn't it? So, you, and the only other thing you get here is with these new brew kits, they say they've been experimenting and they've been developing them and all the rest of it. To, Bring us the, the greatest malt extract and the greatest flavour, etc. Okay. But you, so all the malt extracts across the beer kits are basically the same on pale ale. And then you add a tube of bitterness. Oh, oh right. That's right. And they, you know, okay. depending on how bitter you are. Also, here, it, it's, you can brew 25 litres or 20 litres. Yeah. And depending on how much you brew, is how much ABV is. Yeah. So what did you brew? 20. So this is going to turn out at 5.2%. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, laughing gear around, aren't it? So there's quite a lot of info on the, the sheets off the website. These are the new foundation kits. If you go on their website, they've got a list of the kits, like I say. Um, basically, so three, three malt extracts, bitterness, hops. That's it, basically. And yeast. Okie dokie. Right, so this is their Napier. Is it? Yes. <laughs> it's a bit brown for a Napier. It's a little bit brown, and also, bro... I'm not getting. The, I'm not getting the nose of all I'm those get, citrusy. I'm not getting those lovely citrusy, punchy, hoppy type things coming yeah. through. I'm getting quite a bit of malt. I'm getting quite a bit of malt with a bit of probably lemon in the background. Oh, you getting a bit. Of oh that? yeah, yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going in. Go ahead. Cheers, cheers, folks. Oh. You know, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's quite thirst quenching. It's quite thirst quenching just because it's fairly sharp. I think if that wasn't so cold, because yeah. I put it through the chiller, yeah. it'd be fairly sharp and you'd be like, mm -hmm. I know, I know, yeah, no, it, it, it's lasting on the tongue, that kind of yeah. sharpness. I'm not getting a lot of hot punch. No, it's definitely not like a napier. A little uh, bit of dryness. A bit of dryness, not a great deal of stone it's, fruits coming through. If I walked into a pub and asked for a Bob basic beer, that's probably what I'd expect. Mm. Um, it's fine, there's certainly nothing wrong with it, it's perfectly fine beer, but it's it's not looking as sharp. So it's not a 10 out of 10? No. It's not a, probably a 9 out of 10? No. 8 out of 10, maybe? But pushing it, a seven, let's go 7 and a half, split the difference. Yeah, 7 and a half out of 10. <laughs> 7 and a half out of 10, I reckon for that. So let's get a brew. But if, if, you're, if you're learning and you're starting out, you probably think that's the greatest thing you've made yeah. in your entire yeah. life. Yeah, our tastes have developed yeah. over the yeah. time and we have come to... Like the final things in the Mike Jones. It's fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. You know. There you go. There you go, get broke. Uh, I have had all the malt extract kits. I have had one tin kits from, from like places yes. like Dark Rock. That This does feel a little bit short, I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, some of the one tin kits from Dark Rock uh, have been outstanding, to be yeah. honest. Almost hard to tell whether they're a part of rain kits sometimes, isn't it? You know, so. Some of the mangrove jacks kits, mm. uh, a, a big pouch as well. It's They're the malt extract is level with them. They're better as well, so that's why we put it down there. Okay, okay, folks, there you go. So, bit number two, bro, where are we going now? We're moving across to Dark Rock now. Uh, one of their new limited edition range for the summer. I see what, one of these. I'm going down the set. If, 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 oh, if you've got, what's he got? Come here. What's that? Hey, hey! 
Um, uh, is it one of these boxes if you've not seen them before? I've got some gas, too much gas in the line. <laughs> That's what he says. Air gas in the line here, right? Look at that. Crack on. Crack uh, on. Sorry, uh, premium or grey. I'm trying. <laughs> all grain golden promise. Back down here now. Right, so this is uh, all grain kit, like you said. Um, brews to four and a half percent. These are twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an easy drinking beer featuring a sorry, a, an easy drinking beer featuring a grain bill of golden promise and Vienna malts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to provide the subtle sweetness with soft bread tones. Bread, bread, bread. tones in beer. Bread. Um, this is perfectly balanced with British First Gold and New Zealand Nelson Serving Hops. Blah, 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 blah. Lovely warm sun's eating drink. So it says, oh, that's that's that. natch, bro. Just got the hoses in here. That's a little That's more professional now, isn't it? Eh? Hey. Hey. Right, eh? Hey. Anyway, it's a lovely summer's evening here. Oh my life. In fact, I'm sweating my jobs off here. Um, <laughs> we've decided to record the video on the hottest day of the year so far. Not the greatest idea. <laughs> It's a bit wound, isn't it? It's dedication for you, see? It's dedication. We'll to bring you this through sweat and tears. Beer news. Right, anyway, it's hard work, this. Holy moly! moly. <laughs> <laughs> I can really say that so from, from a nose, this is completely different to the last beer. You can almost you can almost drink it through your nose, can't you? I see what's just about that bread tone in the background there. What do you think? think? When you're opening your pack of bread. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. But that'll be the yeast in the bread, won't it? Yeah. You know, it's giving you that sort yeah. of maybe... Smelling. Yeah, then, they, then it goes away and it gets citrus and oh, gorgeous. Citrus, and... fruity. Oh, I'm going in. I can't resist. Cheers, bro. I shut the front door. Hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my life. That's a beautiful, well balanced, rounded oh. beer. The dryness and there's lots of. Oh, lot that's of... really dry after, after the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. but there's <laughs> lots of flavours going across the tongue that. Ooh. That's a very complex beer, isn't it? It's complex. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's brilliant. Mm. You've got the stone fruit, like my brother says, the bitterness. Uh, it's great, it's refreshing. Um, and also, it's slightly less ABV than the last beer, so yeah. probably a lot of slightly easier yeah. drinking. It's, I'm going straight in. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 for me as well. Woohoo! That means. Oh, it's great. It's, it'll go on oh, board. 12 all grain beer kits of partridge. Now, if you can't see this, um, you I, won't. Think, I believe my brother's going to take a photo and put it on the YouTube site. Yeah, I found out you can put your photo on the YouTube site now. Mm. So, uh, I haven't added the uh, other dark rock there, the Summer Rays. Okay, okay. And this is the Golden Promise. Right so, they'll be both on there. So, we both must be there. nearly up to up to our 12 before. Oh, that is gorgeous, that beer, isn't it? Oh, glorious. Mm. And if you go on their website, right, yeah. they do these limited edition kits. Okay. If you buy three, or they're doing a package where you buy three or four beer kits, you get and, so much off. And you get so much off. Uh, and also with these sites, I believe if you order over a certain amount, you get free delivery, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So it's always That's gone up a little bit over well. a period of time yeah. with the cost of living like everything else has. Cost of transport and everything else, you know, so there you go. Right. Um, but it's a good it's a good way to have three or four beer kits. And, fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. There you um, go. So, have we got another beer? We have indeed, sir. Oh my, I like to work this, you know. We're going across to cross my loof now. We're going to cross, cross my loof. Let's make loof. Right then, here we've got Anzus. Anzus, yes. Australian, New Zealand, US IPA. Yes. Hence the name Anzus. Uh, 5.7 ABV, uh, 43 IBU. A lovely combo of hops to nail this IPA. Kit includes the crushed grain, Magnum Citra, Matika, Mosaic, US Cascade, and Vic Secret Hops. Holy moly, there's a lot of hops in that, bro. There is, bro, isn't there? Uh, yeast, filter bag, Irish moss, all in there. Do you know how much that was, the top of your head or not? I don't, but you can choose your size when you go on their website as well. Ooh. So depending on how much you want to brew or your finished batch, you can even do from about 10, 11 litres. Okay, okay. Uh, and just keep on going. And so cho choose your batch size, and then obviously that'll give you a different choose price. Choose how much you brew. I'm sorry, I'm laughing a little bit. I'm just watching the sweat rip down my brother's head. <laughs> Dedication. Dedication. Anyway, moving on to the Anzus. Uh, yeah. Yes, let's move on to the Anzus. Oh, there's a lot going on in that oh, one as well. Even more complex now as that is. Oh, um, oh, oh, yeah. Again, I'm getting some mold. So I'd actually say slightly more appealing. Yeah. Just, I don't know what it is. It's got that slight comfort 
beer festival smell to I, it, I think it? there's a little bit more maltness coming through. Just a little bit. It's still got those hops going on and off in there. Through. There's a, a smell of flowers and fruit all mixed in. It's almost like I've got a basket of fruit with a, with, with a load of flowers on top. It's turned into a poem. <laughs> it's, it is. It's like it's like I'm gonna taste. I'm gonna taste lemons and melons, but I'm gonna just smell flowers at the same time. I'm winning. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. Holy oh, moly. moly! If anything, that's even better than the last one. Oh, that is cracking. It's to die for. That is, and it's a bit oh. of dangerous as well. 5.7? 5.7. It kind of does let you know it is 5.7, yeah. but you could quaff it quite easily. Very quaffable beer. And uh, there's a lot going on there, like I said. With, now I've tasted it, there's a lot of dryness coming through the vat, but then there's, you, your tongue's just tingling. It, it's different. Yeah. buds of taste. But not only that, because there are so many different hops in there, it's hard to pick one out. Yeah. You think, oh, it's, it's citrus. No, it's not. Oh, it's on its own. It's like, and it rolls lovely over your oh, tongue, doesn't it? Yeah. The balance of the, all the ops in there is is great. To be fair, mixed in with the malts, it's just it's just a lovely little almost plate of food. Oh, that's lovely. You got a lot of that left? Uh, no. <laughs> There's a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going straight in with a ten out of ten, bro. So am I. Yes, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. So that means Cross Monolith get another one on the list, I believe. Yeah, you've also got um, Pale Ale Your Bass. Pale Ale Your Bass on it. And, and uh, the Seas IPA. So they're doing fairly well as well. They're yeah, well done, Cross Monolith. Well done, Cross Monolith. So there you go. And that's it, isn't it, bro, really? So we've got two 10 out of 10s. Yes. And a 7.5. Yes. Cracky night in the DMP. Cracky night in the DMP. <laughs> What's coming next time, bro? He's still sweating. <laughs> Um, right, next time we've got Cross My Loaf, but then it's blank. Yes, because I couldn't spell Duchard's IPA. You can't say it that well. <laughs> <laughs> cross, cross My Loaf, Duchard's IPA, then. Yeah. Festival Razorback. Yeah. We've done that one before, bro. We've done that, and we're just revisiting that some of our old favourites. Nice. Now, uh, now we're brooding corner cases. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dark Rock Canadian Beer. <laughs> right, I'm just, I'm just supping because I'm bloody hot. Dark Rock Canadian Beer, anyway. Well, it's Canadian <laughs> craft beer, if I'm honest. Ah, right, okay. It's not one of those little one tin kits. You know how it is when you're brewing full grain all the time. You just need a kit to stick on every now and again. So we're sticking them on. So, yeah, the more beer you can brew, that, oh God, that is, that is strong. It is. <laughs> and I've also noticed from my brother that we've added another pump to the bar. So we were supporting our local brewery. Uh, if we haven't got enough beer to drink, we yeah. have a beer from them every this now and This is, uh, if, you want to, if you're interested, Eight Sale Brewery in Heckington in Lincolnshire. They make some cracking beers, don't they? Right? Yeah. yeah. So just because, you know, why not? <laughs> that's right. Right. Enough, <laughs> um, that's about it then, bro, isn't it? That's about it. If you're watching us on any other platform besides Matt Bear YouTube, get on over and hit that subscribe button somewhere on there. Yeah. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, we, yeah. My brother reads them and, and does try to reply to them. Do try to reply to them all. If there's any suggestions you've got, you'd like to see us do anything, please drop us a line. Uh, we don't do lager very often, um, so no. But we don't do cider very often because we're beer people. We're beer people, but there you go. There you go. Um, sorry, sorry, doesn't agree with me anyway. Oh no, no, it really doesn't. Um, it's about it then, bro, isn't it? That's about it then, bro. Um, are we two drooing? Yeah, it's a goodbye for men. And it's a goodbye for men. Two drooing. Two drooing. Huzzah to the queen. All of them. All of them in one night. <laughs>